Welcome, welcome everybody. Hope you enjoy your lovely summer's day as I present you another episode of Torquay United career mode. Halfway through our seventh season with the goals. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. We've been through a lot with this. It's such a long journey. But to be honest with you, I've enjoyed every minute of it. Even through heartbreak to glory, it's worth it. And especially now, it's not the fact that we're in a top four race. Or the fact that we're through in the Europa League. It's the main factor that we are in a semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. And if you've been with me, you know how desperate Mr. Hawk is to win this trophy for Torquay. Not just for the supporters or the board, but more importantly, for Lewis Morgan. Yes, as we look at the squad, it's Lewis Morgan's last season with the club. Before he hangs up those boots... And enjoy the rest of the time in Scotland. It's going to be absolutely heartbreaking seeing him go. But I'm more determined than ever to make sure I win some silverware for Lewis Morgan. And, well, we're on the right track, to be honest with you. Showing some great football, beating some big teams. We're going all the way. Now, we do have six million to spend in the window. Not a lot. So, to be honest with you, it's going to be a quiet winter transfer window. So I'll let you know if it's updated with anything. If not, we're going straight so to the match. We're kicking off the match highlights with a big game, right? Well, Liverpool Anfield, you're damn right it's a big game. It'll make most people quiver at the knees, but not the goals. Or more importantly, Busio. He was in an open field, like a bison. And he found Hornby as the Scottish addict Errol, out of all people, drills it past Allison with a very, very unlikely lead. And well, Deja Vu happens to repeat itself. Busio found Hornby, but this time Allison did his homework. And well, Liverpool's gig and press, it was scary at some times. That means you're terrible! <laughs> It may be a little bit too scary, but they switch play to some absolutely fantastic passing. I had to admire it as Baradi, the Italian, made a slot it past the Aussie. But I don't know what I did in the second half, but it was all us and we we're all over him. Well, not Oscar Bob, who missed that chance, and my reaction literally just says it all. But at least the youngsters' efforts were on target, but still, Allison saved it. But we continue to pile on the pressure as a Syria passed as a Gustavo Sarr shot got saved. We kept knocking on that Liverpool door like Jehovah Witnesses. Tony, Ollie Watkins, oh for crying out loud, Busio shots still keep getting saved. Most people will take a point at Anfield, but no, I'm a shark and I'm hungry for blood. And Banks on the wing sees the clock striking midnight. He able to play across as Captain Tony secures a 90th minute winner over Liverpool. Absolute scenes as those tired and exhausted Torquay supporters travelling all the way up here gets to see their team beat Liverpool. Then it's on to, in my opinion, the biggest game. Manchester United, Carabao Cup semi-final. The first leg ended 1-1 at Playmore, so we travelled to Old Trafford. And pressure and nerves got to my defenders the most, as they were quivering, but not the Aussie. Like a prime Mark Schwarzer, keeping United at bay. And that was all the chances in the world, but he was still saving us. But then it was our turn, and we got a counter-attack. Oscar Bob crossed it in and Lewis Morgan out of all people heads home the lead for Torquay United it's his last ever season he's contributed fantastically United were determined to get a quick response but Joe saves us yet again not today mate then we see our left back Hall on the wing, you know he can whip a good ball in, and he able to find Oscar Bob, the Man City Academy graduate, who volleys it pitch perfect, I'll tell you that. Two goals ahead, but we were in the same scenario last year, and well, it only a matter of one striker to get us through the mess. Hornby one on one and gets a third goal as Onana stood still like a weeping angel, and if that wasn't enough, 
Well, Banks able to get a lovely cross in and Captain Tony delivers a fourth. We're going to Wembley Carabao Cup Finals. And how was Leeds United's trip to play more? Well, it didn't take long for them to have a terrible time here. Hornby's first chance makes it 1-0. And there were more goals on the card. Busio joins in the party. And even though Hornby missed his one-on-one -on -one chart, Oscar Bob scoops it up lovely for a third. And to add the cherry on top, up well, it's Hornby's lovely dreadlocks as he heads home a fourth goal. 4-0 for Ashen. We're going to cut these match highlight shorts though as I've got a cup competition to win. The match highlight short here, but we've got an important cup to win. The Carabao Cup against Manchester City. Many people think, eh, it's just a stupid league trophy. No, not to Torquay, as this is five years in the making for the goals. And if you already heard this story before, well, you're going to hear it again. Shut up and get to the point. All started five years ago. Surprisingly, I got to the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup as I faced a Southampton side. Backwards and forwards, I thought I got an equaliser, but denied in the 90th minute. Two years later, we have got another quarterfinals against Wolverhampton Wanderers. It was tense, backwards and forwards, but it resorted to the penalty shootout, which yet again, we got denied going through to the semi-finals. The following year, we were able to get another quarterfinals, this time Bournemouth, and I thought I got it. Semi-final secured in the 90th minute, but against Manchester City, I was cruising. I thought I could do it, but afterwards a miracle comeback and yet a penalty shoot off the crossbar denied us once again of going to the Carabao Cup Finals, for getting us a chance in the Carabao Cup. Now, one year on, Carabao Cup Finals, Torquay United, Man City, we have got to do this, not just for the supporters who've been begging for this trophy, but for Lewis Morgan. Can we leave with a trophy to Lewis Morgan's name? Well, let's find out today. Oh, we've got a throw in. Wembley is rocking, Torquay. We're not strangers at Wembley. Core have had bad times, I've had good times being here. Dean, can he be the Dean back? Clash of a kit, to be honest with you, I'm not complaining that much. Oscar Bob. Over the top through boards into Hornby. Hornby out muscles the Man City defender. Lays it across. Toe pokes it. Oscar Bob makes it 1 0. It's a flying start for the goals. He's not celebrating. Show him respect. But you know what? I'm going absolutely crazy. It's 1 0 in the Carabao Cup finals. Torquay United lead against Man City. Bishop. Now, I think he scored against me in the semis. I can't remember. But well, Pedri, though. Lovely turn. Gets deflected, though. There's Jeremy Doku. Oh god, oh deflected Dean, instantly get tackled by Harlan. He's got the strength, but the Aussie was there denying him. Oh my god, I I, I was going to say 1-1 one, one for sure. Anderson going to go goal kick right here. Not the best, let's see if I can get it. There we go, CJ able to get hold of it. Hornby over the top through ball. Lewis Morgan, I'm going to try and volley it. It took too long to volley it. Oh, that had been spectacular for him to get. I should have made him captain. Oh, I should have made him captain. It's not saying we're going to win it and now, you know, confidence in that. Hornby had it all oh, that in close for us to really get a hand on the trophy. Corner for City. Still the first half here. Everything's still in line. Joe Latmader get through the ball. Up in the air. Oh, God. Oh, Foden made him look like a fool. Like he's high on something. Crossed it in. Headed away by Hall. And now Hornby holds off the play. Back to Lewis Morgan. Trying to find the run of the captain. And there he is, Tony. Like an F1 car. Sees the finish line in sight. He has to do his slots it home. Man, we gotta go to shooting school because you lot are a bunch of dummies, I swear down. Literally close range. At least at least hit the target from that close range. I know I was trying to go far post, but still. I'm crying out loud. Now Man City gonna work it from the back right here. They're a little bit short. This is their competition. I think they've won it more than any other team. But alright, let's see if we can get something. Oh no, now it's into Pedri. Pedri threw balls at the Jeremy Doku. Uh crap. My fullback got caught napping. And now Man City's gonna make me pay, but the Aussie nip oh saved. Now into Harlan. Harlan twisting, turning. And second half kicks off. And Phil Foden now on the wing. Absolute embarrassed. CJ heads it away from Joe Lamadur. Now it's an R ball. The ball's in our court now. 
Oh, well, here we go, through ball. Lovely through ball into who else but Hornby. He's got three defenders around him. Look at him, he's shoving them aside. Oh, no, the tackle's too heavy, but he gets a shot off and Edison still saves. All right, here we go, and pulls the game. Oh, God, Lord. Man City are on attack. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Bishop shoots, but Joe was ready for that shot. All right, I'm just looking at that clock. I'm looking at that clock more than anything. I know we've still got, what, 16 minutes left. Uh, we're still going for it. Phil Foden on the edge of the wing. Still 1-0 to Torquay United. Crossed it in. Men's now trying to get a shot off. It wasn't the best shot, but Joe, a real man in the match performance. Why are you booking the Jamaican? All right, just, just get out of here before it gets any more close. Tensions are building. I'm bringing on Watkins just to be the real help for off the line. A real pacemaker we need. Sorry. Oh, for crying out loud. I need a pacemaker after this game. As Phil Foden, literally absolute wonderful skills from him. Can he get something off here? Now to De Pedri. It's down low. The Aussie has saved us yet again. CJ, what's going to do? Clears it away. And now we've got another youngster, Monreal. Through balls it into Banks. Off the bench. The young guns. We've only got one thing left to do. He scores. It's 2 0. And the youngster makes a real impact off the bench. I'm not going to lie to you. I saw Lewis Morgan. I was really wanted to sweat it across to him. But I need this win. I need this trophy. And Banks off the bench has helped pretty much secure it for the girls. Uh, Tommy Doyle now. Man City are absolutely gutted, to be honest with you. How little talky, head by Harlan, Joe, down low. Just do a pickford, mate, I don't care. It's only seven minutes left. I know we've got added on time and that. Now it's, oh my God, what was that? What was that? Literally, Jeremy Doku shoots off. Oh, thank goodness he's able to catch hold of that again. DJ, heavy touch, through balls it into Banks. The hero of the day, to be honest. Nah, actually, the Aussie deserves hero of the day. Doesn't really matter. Plays it across. Lewis! Oh, Morrell. Sorry, I thought that was Lewis Morgan. As now Man City have got to face the wrath as it's full time and they have to go down as runner ups as Torquay United have won the Carabao Cup. Five years in the making. This has been five years I've been waiting to win this damn trophy. And Lewis Morgan, you're going to be ending your career as a cup winner. Oh, such a huge performance. Everyone was worked well on that day and we desperately deserved it more than Man City, I think. But it's not over yet as we've still got a lot to go through for the rest of the season, including the Europa League. So let's kick off the second, second batch second of highlights. Match highlights of today's episode. It's the Europa League. Yep, we've still got Europe. Borussia Munch and Glad back at home. It ended 1-1 and Hornby, well, he was coming in hot. Five minutes in and he's literally on fire, folks. Not literally for crying out loud, but it was pretty damn close. Literally a fantastic volley from Hornby to get the second goal for us in this game. Well, you're complaining because that's not a volley. Well, that's not a volley. Well, this is a volley. Absolute spectacular from our number nine. Hornby gets the hat-trick. We're through to the quarterfinals. But off to the league, we've got Newcastle at St. James's Park. As soon as the counter-attack was rolling in our favour, well, the Geordies, they were defending more badly than women rights in Saudi Arabia as Tony make easy on them to get the 1-0 lead. And, well, Bob, he was tearing through fullbacks, making them get a new arsehole, cross it in, and the head of the American Bison doubles our lead. It's spectacular. Well, we can't forget about Hornby. He was a one and one and he, all he had to do was slot it. I'm having mad flashbacks of when I had Ding as a striker. As I desperately need a striker in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Guess what? St. James's Park. Guess what? Newcastle again. But my worries about scoring and a striker were absolutely evaporated as Hornby wanted a slice of the cake. Nah, he took the whole bloody thing. He went for another spectacular Europa League volley, but this time it was saved. Followed up by the corner, and yet the header was still safe. One goal ahead, but a clearance from the Aussie was all I needed. As the American, he spots oil, and he's absolutely going for it, as he drills it past the Middle Eastern club and make it two goals. But don't worry, this isn't going to be no deja vu 2-0 win, as Tony, well, he made it free, sending us to Europa League semi-finals, which is against Benfica. Thankfully, we're 2-1 up.
Okay, that didn't last long. And Benfica, they wanted to get another one so badly. But Gutman up there in the heavens was saying, nah, you're cursed for a bloody reason. As all of a sudden, someone who's been blessed from the heavens, it's only Lewis Morgan, gets us back our lead. But yes, anybody ordered scrambled eggs? That's absolute scramble right here. Hornby was the one tapping in. I did skip the cutscene though, sadly. But the tears were wiped aside. Ollie Watkins one on one to send us to European. Okay, he bloody missed it. All right, don't worry. There was a third goal, as it's only Banks who crossed it in and got ahead on it. I don't care what the scoreline says. What I can tell you, we've got a Europa League finals. The final game of the match I liked. It's the goal derby again. Hornby was like, scrappy dude, let me at him, let me at him, but oh, for crying out loud. Tony was the one holding off the play, though, played across the bus here. Then it's Bob who gets the first goal in the derby. Brighton's only response was getting in the back of the net, but they also saw the referee's flag. Tough on you. Second half, though, Morgan losing the ball, and that was more than an effort for who else but Enzo Fernandez to get an equaliser. Saving us in this derby, we need a hero. And a local one of that. Yes, it's Ollie Watkins. Who else? But all of a sudden, it got turned to a horror show. Gustavo Saar lost the ball. And yet, Enzo Fernandez got himself a brace. From villain to hero, it only had to be Gustavo. As he found one of our own, Banks, who gets his goal in the Premier League. We've taken the lead three times in this, and he's got a bright future for the goals. But that future ended really shortly as Joe Latimer's poor marking caused Brighton to equalise for the third time. Six goals in this derby, and it's backwards and forwards. But I want all the bragging rights for Torquay United. Watkins on the win, finds Banks, it got deflected. Bob heads it down to the glorious one! Glorious! You certainly forgot about him. I definitely didn't. We got the win here thanks to Bobby Clark. That's ending the match highlights. Let's see where that puts us in the top four race. Let me break it down to you. The top four race is quite interesting. It has to go to the last game of the season. So it's between three clubs. Newcastle, Spurs and yours truly, Torquay. Now, I think Newcastle are not much of a threat. Because even if we lose and they win, then they can't overtake us. But Tottenham are the real threats. So, who we got in our last game of the season? We got Chelsea. And a win is pretty much secured for Champions League football for Torquay United. So, away at Stamford Bridge. A lot on the line for the goals. If we get this done, then, well, we're going to be hearing Champions League music playing out, playing more. And that will be such an achievement. Come on, you beauties. Rhodes on the edge of the wing for Chelsea right here. As, oh, good Lord, Palestini, I want to say. I'm not going to bounce with that. Breaks, though. So much space, and that miss it was a close shave, I'm not going to lie. Free kick in our name. CJ plays a bat from the defence, nice and easy. Now into the Dean. Dean, Joe Latmader's turn now. Let's we'll see if we get a through ball in. Oscar Bob, edge of the wing. No support. Going to go for it. Off the post. It's 1 0 Torquay United. He celebrates with the travelling away supporters. And that goal could secure Champions League football for the goals. Thanks to the Norwegian Ferrari, Oscar Bob. Free kick and Harry Kane is going to be the one taking it right here. He's going to play it short to uh, the guy I cannot pronounce. I will try my best to pronounce it a lot better. Oh, God, he's through. Oh, thank goodness it was saved. Oh, wait, I think he's offside. Thank goodness for that. Either way, Timber plays it across. He's been a real threat for me. And look at that. He didn't miss my whole player. Into Rhodes. It's not Cody Rhodes, but I'll tell you what. It's going to end a disaster either way. Crossed it in. It's headed away from CJ. Only into Briggs. Briggs into, oh, God, so much passing. Kane plays it across. And, yeah, I'm going to pronounce his name now. Oh, I will not. He's offside. Oh, Palestini. How the hell did he keep himself? The Silver Fox. I certainly thought he was onside, 
But as we take a look, it is really close to call. Only a pinky toe offside. Whew. Gustavo plays across to CJ. CJ throws the boards at Oscar Bob. Oscar twists in. He's got Chelsea plays all around. Cross it. A volley from Hornby. It's a fantastic save from the Chelsea keeper. Brookings uh, through balls it into Briggs. Briggs on the edge of the wing. Try and twist it. Plays it across to Diego Jr. Some from Andorra days. Chuck now. Oh, my God. So easy. But, oh, my God. He's still missing. Sooner or later, one of these bloody chances is going to go in. From that close range, though, that's absolutely appalling from the Chelsea player. And it's into Harry Kane. Kane able to play across to Chuck. Chuck, good pass back. And this sooner or later, Chelsea going to come through. It's shot, it's saved. But, oh no, Dean. He's took it out, Harry Kane. And yet the referee points to the spot. It's a penalty for Chelsea. Oh, dying times. I thought we were able to keep Chelsea at bay. But this is an invitation, especially if you've got Harry Kane on penalties. Straight down the middle. Well, Chelsea have got their equaliser. It's 1-1 here at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea player clears it now. And you can see Rhodes on the board over the top. But Gustavo's got hold of it. I really got to go for something here. As Tony threw balls at Lewis Morgan. Could he be the saviour for us? It's saved. Timber uh, holds on the ball. Plays it across. This is just going to be last minute for us now. As Chelsea yet again going for it. Timber over the top through ball. Christopher and Duku. Lovely control. Palestini deflected. It's gone in. I've been fearing this player for the whole 90 minutes of the game. And yet he strikes for Chelsea. Yeah, it took a little deflection. Joe couldn't get in time. And Chelsea take a lead which really will cut deeply into talky wounds. Rhodes on the edge of the wing as 86th minute. I can't get a point now because it's better than nothing, but it's not like we're going to get anything as Joe saves us yet again. Chelsea player keeps it alive. Timber back to him again. It's saved from the Aussie. He can't save us forever, you damn players. We've got to go something. I'm bringing on more players. Morale. Morale, sorry, on. I've got to bring more attackers on. We've got to go for something. Ollie Watkins clears it. Joe Latmadea holds it. Through balls it. Into the air. Moreau. I've got his name wrong so many times, but he could be a hero for Torquay. He's just got to keep on running. Chelsea players right on his tail. Come on. Find someone. You know what? I've got to go for it. Ollie Watkins, no. Oh, and it down for Clark. The glorious one couldn't get it either. Oh, I think it's going to be over. Full time goes. 2 1. We've lost this game. Chelsea have finally got something to celebrate because I think our top four race for Champions League football is over for the girls. Yeah, table confirms it. Fifth place. Bugger. So close. Just that final hurdle we failed. But I will tell you one thing. There's more than one way of getting into Champions League football. As we've got the Europa League finals against Milan. This is, could be much more on the line than I ever thought. Not the fact that winning European trophy first ever time for Torquay. United, but the more important thing, it's our one-way ticket to the Champions League since we failed in the top four race. So much is on the line. And I'm not going to lie to you. This isn't the first time I've faced a Milan in the Europa League finals. The right whips this one. Chalaba save. Got another. Got, what? No. 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 No, you freaking ref. You blow for full time when I've got another corner. You son of a bitch. You ruined this for us. You ruined it. Yeah, it brings back so much bad memories that game does. But hopefully this will bring us good ones. But before I start this game, there's one thing. I've got to do first. Much better. Lewis Morgan, captain, leading us into Anfield against Milan. Europa League on the line. Could we do it for the girls? Come on, Torquay! Playing from the back now. Joe Latmader into Dean. Dean, don't do what you did in the Chelsea game. That's all I'm going to say. Gustavo, space, time. I'm going to go for it. Oh, the key bad to make something. It was off target, I know. But you can just imagine a peeler here at Anfield. Oh, look at it. Look at it. it was, oh, maybe it wasn't that close. But still, well, first attempt for Torquay. Dean from the back line now. Let's see if we can just put some pressure. They're really, actually speaking of pressure, they're putting real good pressure on us right here. Gustavo trying to find the runner. Oscar Bob. Tony plays across to Morgan. I'm just going to whip it in right here. Bob clears it. Tries to volley it. And it was wide. 
CJ trying to get pressure on them, but Milan are really getting well on here. Destiny, will it be Milan's destiny? I surely hope not. Back to the Algerian now. Now is their main threat. Rafael Leon and the Jolzy saved it down low. And balls it. Oh, good Lord. Milan on the attack. Why does this always happen? Rafael into Colo. Oh, my God. That was real close for Milan getting the first goal. Oh, my God. I can't keep doing this. I can do this, though. Lewis Morgan, counter-attack. He sees support, trying to find it. Oh, couldn't get the pass off. Tony into the Scotsman. Yes! 1-0! Milan looked like they were going to get it, but no, we go up the other end and give a pace of real Scottish firepower. Hall beats Aaron up the Europa League and he gets the goal in the finals. 1-0 Torquay United. And we can see Milan's got a free kick in the defensive area. Destiny, though, good ball. Pulisic into the Algerian, goes for a shot, Joe. Bloody hell, how do you keep bloody doing this, mate? Plays away, Tony. Back down into Oscar Bob, who twists round the whole uh, Destiny right here. Oh, God, I'm just, I'm so nervous right now. 69 minutes, now I've got to reach the Seniors. Can we get another one? Hornby plays across to Tony. It's saved. Hornby with the rebound, but I think he's offside. No, it's boy. Damn it. Pulisic plays it across to Nico Paz. Now, oh my god, Milan are absolutely scary, especially this player's on the wing. And CJ not marking him, gonna cross it in, it's headed away from Hall. Terrible clearance, Destiny was able to get hold of it. Bob getting absolutely sandwiched by the Milan players. Pulisic got to be pal the hell does he keep on bloody saving us, Joe? After some changes, we're back with Milan's corner right here. As you can see, I brought on Banks. Oh, come on. He saved us in the Carabao Cup final. Can he do it today? Slide tackle didn't work that much. Rafael Leon. Oh, I, I, I should, I'm, am I surprised now? No. I've just got to bloody take it. More changes are needed. Tony's coming off. Moreau is back in. Now, headed not that good from Lewis Morgan. As we see Pulisic on the edge of the wing. He's teasing them. And now the Algerian crosses it in. It's an open header. And Joe is saved us yet again. Come on, you beautiful Aussie. Life supply of Foster's going straight to his doorstep. How does he keep on doing it? In the biggest of games, Joe has yet again been an absolute saviour for the goals. Destiny through balls it. Oh, God, now from the throw in. Slide tackle didn't do much either. 82nd minute. It's all in Milan's favour. Shot goes in. Joe saved us again. CJ, please get rid of the ball. But that touch from Rafael Leon is able to get us right here. God, I'm just, I'm just on the edge right here. Dean, and you can see they're putting pressure on us right here. Uh, oh, come on, come on. Joe Latimer, uh, slide tackle, didn't do much either. Hall into Busio. Busio back into Hall. Hall through balls at Lewis Morgan. Morgan, yeah, he's got to go for it. Through balls it, though. It's into Banks, and it's a beautiful passing of the torch moment. Lewis Morgan hands it down to Banks and he slots in the second, the securing lead for Torquay United. Absolute scenes here at Anfield as we've pretty much got the Europa League wrapped up. A real emotional moment. He found the runner, he slots in the goal and he's got our second, our security goal. Corner from the line, goalkeeper coming up. Don't care if you get this one, mate. You've still got two more minutes to get another one. As Keller's shot blocked. As Lewis Morgan. Oh, come on, come on. You know what? We're going to throw a ball it. Ollie Watkins, another through ball. Moreau. You know what? Goalkeeper off the line. We're going to go for it. Oh, hell. That would have been something spectacular. Well, the keeper was able to save that. Oh, bloody hell. I really wanted that to go in. More youngsters to get on the score sheet. But the keeper's able to get rid of it right here. Talking United, we don't really care. We've got this trophy wrapped up. All we got to do is just deal with this corner right here. Uh, like, let's just get this. Corner. Bobby Clark. Glorious one. Glorious by name. Glorious by nature. Heads it. Dean couldn't get in there. But the referee is going to be blowing for full time here at Anfield. As Torquay United have won the Europa League for the very first time. From coming from debt to here, winning European trophies. And also that means we've secured Champions League for next season. Oh, so many positives to end this season. Especially Lewis's Morgan's last season as he's delivered one nice touch, giving Banks as a winning goal.
Oh, brilliant scene, Dorado. And how do I feel about this celebrations? Let's just say the night is still young. Get in there. All right, I'm going to make this short and simple because my voice is took an absolute batting in that game. For Holby, 26 goals, top goal scorer again. Oscar Bob, 19, 14 for Ollie Watkins, 12 from Banks. We've got 11 uh, from Lewis Morgan slash Tony. And the person with the most assists it is Busio with 16, 14 for Gustavo and 13 for Oscar Bob. Absolute brilliant scenes right here and play of the season. Now this is controversial. It's between two people. Of course, Joe deserves the massive share. But well for him, we would have definitely lost that game. But since this is his last season and the final touch, it had to go to Lewis Morgan. A final farewell for him. Coming out double winners and he was producing it no matter what. He still felt like he was in his prime. And I salute you, good sir. But hopefully next season will bring us a lot more joy as Champions League will be playing across playing more in our 8th season with Talking United. Hope you join in for that. If you do look forward to that episode as well, enjoy today's episode. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for the channel for more career mode content. And I'll see you beautiful people later.